Good morning wherever you are. It's a beautiful, beautiful day the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. I believe that you are having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful life, you know. The expectation that God is going to manifest his goodness in your life. And then my dear friends, as sons and daughters of the Most High God, I'm talking about boldly ask. Boldly ask. Because at times we normally have the fear to ask the Lord what we want. At times we're normally afraid to say what we need. Yet in truth, my dear friends, you have to be bold enough to ask because you're a daughter and a son of the Most High God. And you have to have the courage to bring it to God, whatever issue it is that is coming into your life, whatever weight, whatever heaviness, whatever frustration is there in your life, you have to come with the mindset that you're a daughter or a son of the Most High God. Anything you want God to do for you in, in your life, don't approach it as though the father is someone else's father. Approach it like he's your own father and therefore I will be bold enough to put my request out there. Philippians 4.6 says this, Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day. And let's look at those two parts of the scripture very, very quickly. One, don't be pulled away in different directions because of worry and anxiety and things that we don't understand. But be saturated in prayer. He goes on to say, offering your faith-filled request before God with overflowing gratitude. But I like the last part. Those of you are wondering, this is a passion translation. The last part says this, tell him every detail of your life. Tell him every detail of your life. When I say boldly ask, I simply mean this, that you have to have the confidence that he is your father and I can tell him everything. I won't ignore anything in this conversation and act as though I cannot tell the Lord this. No, I will tell him everything. I will boldly ask because I'm a daughter. God doesn't feel tired when you tell him in the morning, but Father, this day I don't know what to do. I am lost. I'm confused. You don't tell God every day you're confused. Then keep quiet and say, Lord, I don't want to tell you I'm confused today because I'm disturbing you. I told you yesterday. Don't put an expectation on yourself to grow quickly. That by now I should have overcome this. By now I should have been better than this. No. Tell him every detail of your life. That this is what I don't get. This is what I need. If I need, a, if you need, if you need God to give you, um, if you not need God to give you, you know, a, um, um, a, a million dollar um, a, um, breakthrough, you tell him that Lord, I'm here. I need a breakthrough of this much. You tell him, I'm here. I need you to turn around my life this way. You tell him, I need you to transform my life this way. Speak with boldly every single detail that you have in your life and what you need him to do. My friends, God is capable to fight for you and to fight for me. And God is not too far away to help us. And neither is anything you need too big for God. So be bold in your prayers today. Look at, you know, just tell the Lord, you know, Father, I'm before you this day. And today I'm boldly asking you for a job. And a job which will pay me this much. That's what it says, every detail. Every, I want a job that pays me this, this much. I want a house that looks like this. You know? I once told someone once was praying for a spouse. They said, be, be specific. Tell God this is what I want. You know, Let him surprise you by giving you more than, than, than you expected. But tell him this is what I'm praying for. Hallelujah. I believe God for all of you. Let's ask like children of the Most High God. Let us pray. Father, I thank you and I bless your name because you're a good God, you're a mighty God, you're a loving God. Father, what is impossible for you to do? There's nothing. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray today. My Lord, you bless my brother, my sister, the Lord. My Lord, you may give them the Holy Spirit boldness to ask you whatever they need, whatever they are. I want you to do, Lord, to ask with, with the boldness because, Father, there is no day you've turned away your children. There is no day, Lord, you turn away your sons and your daughters. Whatever they desire in their hearts, Father, I pray that, Lord, you give them the courage to lay it bare before you. But, Father, every micro detail of their lives, every minor detail of their, of their lives, my Lord, they'll bring it forth to you. Because only you are able to perform that supernatural thing. So all those who want financial breakthroughs, I pray that they get courage to ask for, what, for that which they need. Those who want their marriages to work, those who want to get married, those who want children, those who want healing, those who want retirement homes, whatever it is that anyone wants, Lord, I pray today that, Lord, they get the boldness to ask you. But, Father, I touch and agree with them. Whatever they ask you, for, Lord, in faith, I touch and I agree with them today. The Lord, it will be done according to your goodness. In Jesus' name, pray thanksgiving. Amen. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters. Remember, boldly ask, you are a child of the Most High God. 
every detail of your life. Philippians 4.6. Stay blessed.